Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 336. That is, what is component testing? Let me answer. So what is component testing? Component testing is an another name for unit testing. You already know what is unit testing. Unit testing is nothing but component testing. Component is testing is nothing but unit testing is. So what is component testing? That is what is unit testing? It is the first level of software testing. There are four levels of software testing. Okay, let me maximize this so that you can see the four levels of software testing. First is unit testing, which is nothing but the component testing. Then we have the integration testing. Then we have system testing and acceptance testing. While unit testing, component testing, and integration testing. These two testings are done by developers. They fall into the white box testing category where the code is visible, accessible, and testable. Okay, by developers. Developers will perform this unit testing, which is nothing but component testing. And also developers will perform the integration testing. Okay. Then we have the system testing, which is generally done by software testers, where they will be testing the entire functionality as a of the application as a whole and using the visual graphical user interface here. The developers will test this component testing and integration testing by using the code. OK, they have written for building the application. But here. By using the visual graphical user interface of the software, the software testers will be performing the system testing and finally acceptance testing also will use a visual graphical user interface, but it is not generally done by software testers It's done by the client side business people who has a business knowledge and knows the needs and expectations of the users or it is also done by the end users or end real customers who are going to use the software. Okay, so these are the four levels of software testing. The first level of software testing is unit testing, which is nothing but the component testing. Okay, so hope you understood what is component testing now. Now let me explain more about this uh, component testing. I already told you the this first two levels are done by the developers. Here component testing is also done by developers. Okay, where they can see the code, they can access the code, they can test the code. Okay, and that's why. Okay, since the code is visible, guys, since the code is visible while performing the testing of uh, okay while performing the testing as a code is visible. This particular unit testing that is component testing falls into the white box testing category where a system testing and acceptance testing fall into the black box testing. This unit that is component testing and integration testing falls into the white box. OK, where code is visible. That's why it's called as white box. Whatever you put inside the white box, it is visible. Where a system testing acceptance testing using the graphical user interface uh, where the code is not visible. So this is black box. So complete code written for developing the software application is broken down into smallest parts as possible known as unit or components. Okay. Okay. These units are components because you can call it as unit testing or component testing. The entire code written for building the software by the developers will be broken down into smallest parts as possible. That means you cannot broke them further. Such kind of parts are known as units. Okay. Which cannot be broken further as part of unit testing. This broken down, okay, as part of component testing or unit testing, this broken down units or components will be tested individually, separately, by passing valid and invalid inputs for testing coverage. Okay, I'll I'll give an example, guys, how component testing or unit testing will be performed. Okay, so let me explain. So I'll do one thing. So let's say the developers have written the code here. Let's say this is a entire application code. Okay, this entire application code, which is written by developers for building a software, is broken down into smallest portions. Okay, smallest parts as possible. So you cannot break them further. You cannot uh, break this single box into multiple boxes. Okay, that much level you have broken down. Okay, these broken parts are either known as units or components. So, like this. Okay, so entire application code is broken down into smallest parts as possible and uh, like this. These parts are known as either units or components. Okay, you cannot broke them further. You cannot break these components further or these units further. Okay, such level the entire code is broken down into here each and every part or component or unit is called as a unit or component. Okay, you can call them as a unit or a component. Okay, you can call them as unit or component. So one of the component may be for you see if you if you take an example of an uh, application software. Let's say calculator application. If the developers are building the code for developing a calculator application, 
one of the unit or component may be the code related to the adding okay addition adding of two numbers or something okay addition other component may belong to the subtraction other will other may belong to the multiplication other may belong to division and so on guys and so on okay different components or units for different purposes okay here you cannot break this component or unit further that is the smallest as as smallest as possible you have to mean okay but how does okay so example for a unit or component is calculator application division of two numbers or addition of a two numbers or multiplication of two numbers or subtraction of it is a method guys okay it is a method okay so how does it look like this particular unit or component okay if i give you a picture if uh, in the form of a code okay let's say this is a component or unit uh, one of the piece of component or unit for a division let's say division okay how does it look like if i write the code in java it will be looking like this okay it is a method guys okay public void division of two numbers let's say two numbers int a comma int b like this two numbers are there and this is the starting of the code this is the ending of the method this is starting of the method ending of the method and here in the starting of the method uh, they have written the code like this uh, what is the code uh, int uh, result is equal to a divided by b okay and here system dot out dot print ln okay print ln result you see this is one method guys this is one method uh, you can actually make it more readable by just moving it right side okay this is a method guys okay this is a method uh, this is one example of a unit okay you can call it as a unit or you can call it as a component okay it is a piece of code which cannot be broken further you cannot break this method further example for a unit or component is a method like division method so how the developers will perform the unit testing individually okay there may be other unit or component for addition other component of uh, unit of code uh, like method code for uh, subtraction other method that is unit component for multiplication but this one is only one example where division of two numbers how they will perform testing individually they have to test this unit of p code that is piece of code they have to test how they are going to test developers will pass some uh, they will call this method and pass some data guys uh, let's say they pass it three and two okay how many times three can be divided by two one time one is a result okay next time they will pass six and three okay how many how many times six can be divided by three two times two is a result like that they will test whether they are getting the proper output this time they will give minus six minus 6 minus 2 let's say another type of inputs different uh, valid inputs invalid inputs different inputs they will give here minus 6 will go into a minus 2 will go into b and uh, minus 6 will be divided by minus 2 by 2 times and uh, they can give some negative possibilities also where 6 and uh, 0 let's say okay so 6 will go into a 0 will go into b 6 divided by 0 will give an exception here okay arithmetic exception will come an exception known as arithmetic exception will come that means the unit testing has failed okay when developers have tested this particular piece of code with 6 3 3 2 uh, minus 6 minus 2 everything got passed but when they pass it 6 0 6 goes into a and 0 goes into b 6 divided by 0 has resulted in an exception and the program has halted here the remaining statement no result have got printed that means here developers have to fix the code okay Big, uh, unit testing has failed for this particular set of input so they will they will surround this code in try catch blocks okay and the, if you know java you will understand what is try catch here otherwise ignore that guys okay there is a way they, the developers can fix this problem okay so but here a unit or a component a piece of code which cannot be broken further is tested individually that is called as unit testing or component testing okay both the names are same okay there you can either use the name as component testing or unit testing which is the first level of software testing and as you can see here it falls into the white box testing category because the code is visible right as you can see the code is visible testable accessible by the developers developers will be performing this testing unit testing or component testing okay and with valid and invalid inputs okay so when they give valid and invalid inputs a proper result should come if it is not coming there is a failure in the unit testing or component testing 
So what is the advantage of this component testing on unit testing? What are the advantages we get by performing it? Cost of fixing defects in unit testing is you say in the next level of uh, testing is integration testing. Okay, if you fix most of the defects here, less number of defects will be carried forward to the next levels of software testing here. Okay, into the integration testing or system testing or accept testing, less number of defects will be carried forward. The code will become stronger and all, and the defects cost of fixing also is easy, right? Uh, so developers don't have to do anything like find the code and do. Okay, it's just uh, finding the problem, fixing the defect there itself. The cost of fixing the defect is cheaper and faster, faster also. Okay, and also, guys, uh, one more thing here is all these levels of software testing, unit testing, integration, system testing can be automated, guys. Okay, that is component testing can also be automated because all time developers cannot keep on testing the each and every unit piece of code, right? They will automate it once they test it manually, once they will automate it and run it. Okay. Because the code keeps on code of code for building the software keeps on changing, so there is a possibility of uh, again getting mistakes and uh, finding the uh, failures in the unit testing level for each and every unit. So they cannot test it often. So what they will do is they will automate it. Okay, if it is a long term project, they will automate the unit test or component test and they will run it. Okay, using the automation tools so that they will get the test. Okay, they will get the results as part of regression testing. Unit test or component test can be automated. So hope guys you understood what exactly is component testing in this session. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you. Bye bye.